if you want to tell us what happened when you was at the new spot, you know, I, I, I like to hear that story too. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the same thing where there's some Hispanics uh got got whooped by some blacks because they weren't trying to let no blacks in the room with them or something. And it was in a unit next door to us. And they wind up uh uh having a life flight, like about four or five Mexicans up out of there. So uh, you know, they pissed off. They like, you know what I'm saying, send word out uh Whenever the doors pop or whenever the yard open back open, don't know black did not go to the wreck yard. Yeah. So, so you know they wind up opening the wreck yard on a Saturday. <laughs> now everybody know me. I work out. You know what I'm saying every every Saturday because you know I'm the person on the yard. If you got a homeboy come in. And he act like he can work out it. He can do this. He can do that. You're going to bring him to me before I can go on and flatline him or make him land like 747. <laughs> no, I'm saying? You know, I'm I'm him. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the workout guru. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm the people's champ. You know what I'm saying? As it relates to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, 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 you know, black folk. You know, I'm, 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 I'm the stand up for, for us on whatever, whatever we got, we got to do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, they put the call out. Don't know blacks better not go to the wreck yard. So had it been on a Friday, I would have used common sense and not went. You know what I'm saying? Because people don't normally see me probably on the on the Friday, but they know I'm gonna be there on Saturday. So I had to go because that was my routine. And I didn't want to have it like somebody making a threat and now that's gonna scare me from not going. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, you know, it was only a handful of us blacks went out there, man. You know what I'm saying? I would say. A total of probably, you know what I'm saying, out of a, a compound uh, uh, of probably about a thousand and probably 500 probably was blacks. It might have been 30 blacks probably went to the wreck yard that morning. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the Mexicans, they, it was like about, about 150 of them came out. You know what I'm saying? And shoot, when they came out, you know, I'm just walking the track. Uh, and they all came to softball field, and then they just, you know what I'm saying, got to just, uh, I think it might have gave them a kickball or something. They just started playing kickball, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, hey, you know, I ain't know what was going to happen, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I was prepared, even though it was foolish to, to, to go out there, and I will say that. But, hey, you know, in there, man, you know, uh, you going to be, what what they say, image is everything. Yeah. You know, yeah, image is everything. So, Facts. yes. Facts. All right, all right. Good stories, good stories. Well, we reached the end of this interview, but first, why don't you go ahead and tell the people the future plans that you have for yourself while you're yeah. embracing your freedom. I believe you told me you said you were working on the book as well. So go ahead and plug yourself. Tell the people where they can find you on social media. Just tell everyone, you know, your plans for the future. Yes. Okay, this is what I want to say. Uh, anybody that uh, heard the sound of my voice and y'all feel that my perspective need to be heard or y'all like the content that y'all heard, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Larry Turnley, L-A-R-R-Y. T U R N L E Y. And currently I'm uh I'm uh matter of fact, this this coming up Monday, I will be speaking on a criminal justice panel at a law school with uh two sheriffs and a law professor uh talking about criminal justice reform. Uh and uh you know I do uh uh have uh some some things that I feel that if they are enacted, it would be very, uh, 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 it, it'll be great for returning citizens as well as brothers and sisters who are out here that are returning citizens. And uh, I just wrote a bill uh, and I'm hoping that this bill uh, get passed here in Tennessee. I know in New York, they just passed uh, it up there, which is uh, the uh, Clean Slate Act. Uh, which they just passed in New York. 
but I'm trying to get a version of that sent down, uh, passed down here. But mine is going to uh, uh, involve child support because I feel that child support has been weaponized against our yeah. community. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, it has. Yes. Yes, it, yes, the hell it has. Man. Yes. And, and if we don't address that part, it don't matter how many good jobs they create if you don't deal with child support. And having to where uh, uh, people are not going to be working for free on these jobs, then you know it, it's it just don't it just don't make sense without addressing that. So that's what I uh, have attached to that bill that I created. It's kind of like New York's, and yes, like you uh, said, uh, I'm currently working on my autobiography. However, I do have a book that's currently out. It's called. What's your excuse? Would y'all see the shirt right here? What's your excuse? How I use my prison experience good, to good save. Good branding. Good branding, yes, by the way. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Good to branding. save one hundred thousand dollars. I saved a hundred thousand dollars my first five years home, and 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 man, hey, all I can tell you is, man, if we would, especially if you don't been locked up and you out here and you trying to figure out how you gonna uh 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 create that that new start sentence yourself to five years don't wait for the courts to give you five years give yourself five years to block out everything to get two three jobs however many jobs you need for five years and just focus on stacking focus on saving and with with those within them five years you'll be able to take off a year of not working if you're a hustler, because you're going to figure out what to do with that money to where that money going to make money for you. Great advice. Great yeah. advice. Great yeah. advice. Yes. And, and last but not least, I won't, I'm i I'm also working on uh, uh, helping people get pardons because I'm eligible for a pardon next year. And I think that that's what all of us need to aspire to do. If you done been locked up, if you're not out here trying to be totally free, you in the way. You playing. You know what I'm saying? Your main goal when you come home from prison, it ain't time to celebrate when we come home from prison. It's time to celebrate when we get all our rights back, when we totally free. You know what I'm saying? And you can be totally free by applying pressure. That's what I'm doing. I'm applying pressure. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, get involved in as much stuff as I can get involved in for us doing positive things in my community as well as being a good example for the people who are in my community and abroad. Who like the brother spoke on earlier? You know what I'm saying at the beginning of this 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 interview, uh, man. Look, your good works will not be overlooked. You will be rewarded, man. And if you don't get rewarded, then that's when we can just let the people know. Don't come to us with all these talking about a pardon of people who really deserve and the one can't get now. You know that's what I'm right. saying? We got to apply pressure. That's so, right. so that's my whole thing right there, brother. That's right. All right, man. Listen. Thank you once again, man. This has been another great interview. You see yes, it right sir. here, man. I got yes, an exclusive Larry yes, Turnley interview for Full Black Got to him. <laughs> for Full Breakfast Club Got to him. No, I'm talking.